Hey, in today's video, we're going to be talking about installing WordPress on a cPanel server with the Aveda theme. Now, all of that might be new to you, but the good news is, is those three services, cPanel, WordPress, and Aveda, those are the top level components for a website like this. Aveda is the number one installed theme for WordPress. WordPress comprises of over 35% of all websites on the internet, and cPanel is arguably the largest server platform to be hosting websites. So in this video, we're going to be looking at installing WordPress on a cPanel server with the Aveda theme, and we're going to be able to do that in under 10 minutes. I'm going to show you how. All right, as we stated, we're going to be installing WordPress on a cPanel server running the Aveda theme. Now there's three assumptions that we're going to be making. One is that you have a hosting provider that is running cPanel. Two, that you are going to be running your website on WordPress and therefore we're doing this installation. And three, with Theme Forest on the Envato Marketplace, you have an account there where you have already purchased and have downloaded the Aveda theme. So having those three assumptions, let's go ahead and log into cPanel and let's get started. So here I'm on my cPanel login screen. I'm going to go ahead and get logged in. And um, I've already created a subdomain for my account. So uh, right now I am ready to go. Once I logged into my uh, control panel, now you may be doing this under a subdomain or you may be doing this under your main domain. The process ex is exactly the same. I'm just going to go down here to the very bottom of my control panel and click on the WordPress manager. And once this page comes up, I'm going to hit new site. Now you'll see here that I've got this demo um, d subdomain already ready to go. But if you were doing this on your main site, you wouldn't be using a subdomain. It would just be your main domain name. But for the sake of the demo, we're going to be installing this on the, the demo subdomain. I'm going to go ahead and just get install and it's going to do everything for us. This is one of the beautiful things. It creates the database. It creates the username and password. It installs WordPress for you. It gives you the login information. And so as you can see here, um, right here is the username and password that we're going to be using to install this. So I just simply copy this and we're going to go to notes. Let's just paste that in. And so now we know this username and password. And so I can come up here back to my browser and make a new tab. We're just going to go up here to the top and we're just going to type in demo.crowninternet.com and you should see the installation there. Hello world. So we know that the uh, WordPress installation has worked. We're going to go to the default admin. And so here we're going to be asked to log in. And this is where that username and password was that we just got generated. And let's go ahead and log in. And look at there. We can already see that we're logged into the dashboard. And that took us, what, two minutes? Now, by default, at least at this point in time, as this video was produced, um, cPanel is not installing the latest version of WordPress. So we're just going to go and do the update now. And let's go ahead and update to the latest version of WordPress. So you'll want to do this when you install. And as we can see now, as of this video, we are now running the most recent version of WordPress. I always like to come into the plugins as well and just delete the plugins that I'm not going to be using as a base install. So boom, we've got that. We're updated. We're on the latest version of WordPress. We're installed. I can go to the website here using your domain name and I can see that WordPress is installed. So now the next step is getting Aveda within the WordPress installation so that you can get your site up and running and looking the way that you want. So that's next. Okay, we are going to go to the dashboard within the newly installed WordPress and we are just going to go to appearance and we're going to get ready to add a new theme and that is going to be the Aveda theme. But first, as mentioned before, you're going to need to go to your um, themeforest.net account and you're going to need to log in. And up in here, you're going to go to your download sections. Once you're in your download section, you'll find Aveda and you will download all of those files and documents. So once you have that purchased and you've downloaded it, now we can begin to install the theme into WordPress. So let's go back here and let's add a new theme and let's just upload it and I've got this in my 
documents folder here and there is the full package I'm gonna to go to the Aveda theme now it gives you two options you can do the full theme and the child theme I recommend doing both so you'll install the full theme and let's go ahead and install that now okay so we can see that that has been done so we're gonna go now back to appearances and like I mentioned before there you see the Aveda but I'm going to add another one and we are going to upload the child theme that way, any changes that you might want to make to this later on down the road, it's just going to be impacting the child theme and not the actual main file. So we're going to go ahead and activate this. And now that that is activated, we are going to go in and manage the plugins. So there's a couple plugins that you're going to want to just get installed. And let's do the Fusion Core install first. And that one was done successfully is do the fusion builder let's go ahead and get that one up installed and based on this there may be some fusion um, patcher items that we're going to want to go in and in this case there are three if you see that there's any updates to fusion patcher go ahead and log in and do that so you're going to apply the first patch and then any subsequent patches from there as they are dependent on each other so we're just going to move down and apply each of these patches and now once this is complete we have a fully updated and secure version of WordPress the latest version um, of Aveda running on cPanel and if we go in here and we visit website we can see here that um, we're now running the Aveda theme so the next step would be is if you've got this purchased and you've got your purchase code what you can do then is you can do the import which is what we're going to do next uh, the import of the of uh, the demo sites so what you're going to need to do with that is come in here to VEDA and you're going to need to go to the registration screen and you're going to need to enter your Envato token to complete this registration this just proves that you've purchased the domain once we've pasted in those codes you're just going to hit submit that's going to validate that you have a registered product and when your product is registered you can come up here to the demos tab and now you can import any one of their demos now I've not seen this landscaper one it's doing so Let's just go ahead and import this entire um, theme, variation of this theme. It might tell you, hey, we've got some things that you need to install. In this case, we've got to install Contact Form 7. So let's just go ahead and get that installed. And it looks like that might be done. What I always like to do is just come in here and just make sure that um, that plugin has been installed by coming to the plugins page. And it looks like it was done. Okay, we're going to go back up here to demos. And let's go ahead and import this landscaper version. I'm just going to do all pages and we're going to hit import down here. And it's it's installing this theme. And here in just a minute, we're going to see what this website looks like. Completely ready to go. Okay, as you can see, it's now done. We're going to go ahead and click this X right here and we're going to come up here and we're going to visit the website and you can see now that we have a fully functional gorgeous designed website that you can then come in and put your content in place uh, we have navigation sub menus uh, with nice little font icons you can change your your logo you can change your color schemes you can change your pictures and now there you go within a matter of 10 minutes you have a fully functional working website that is also mobile responsive and beautiful so i hope you enjoyed today's video please like or subscribe and check us out in the future when we add other videos uh, if you guys need any hosting help we'd love to do that for you mention this video and fill out the form in the description and we'll give you two months of hosting for free so thanks for watching today and we'll talk later. Bye.